Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this episode of G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways and Adventures. A homestead in the desert here. Oh, I had a question. Well, I didn't have a question. One of my viewers had a question. And well, that viewer was Tony from uh, Tony and Leanne doing off grid, uh, doing all redneck things off grid, doing redneck things off grid. That, that's the name of their channel. Go over and say hi to them. Anyway, uh, Tony is uh, resetting up his solar panels, and he asked me how I came up with the um, perfect angle. Or uh, actually, he just asked uh, what angle I have my panels set at because I get optimum year-round uh, production with this angle. Well, there is no um, actual way of telling you what my angle is because the way I did mine was a little bit different than what they recommend on um, Google or whatever when you look it up on the internet. On the internet, they tell you in the northern hemisphere that you should be facing true south, not magnetic south, now true south with your panels. And you should, let me scratch my leg here, I got a fly landed on it, thank you. All right, so they want you facing true south and the angle should be the latitude of your location. So you can download an, uh, a GPS uh, app of any kind. I like using the one that's where am I, because I can use that to tell people um, where I'm at if they're coming looking for me. Or uh, when somebody wants to come to my place, I can email them the coordinates from where am I. They download the app and it, uh, it will guide them directly to my cabin. I mean, right where I'm standing, not uh, a couple of miles away or anything. So I use the why am I, well, where am I app. All right, so you see the angle of my panels. And then some people say, well, that's too flat. You need a, more of an angle on those. Okay, well, the professionals recommend that in my location, um, and I'm not going to fully disclose my location, but in my location, I should be facing true south and the latitude, which is the northern latitude of my location, is the angle that I want to set these at. Well, I checked that and it was 34.7 deg 34 degrees or something like that. Let's, let's call it 34, between 34 and 35 degrees. Okay, so one degree is not going to be that much of a difference when, you, when you're doing this. But let me show you how I do it. Now, you're at the optimum angle and um, way you want to face these, the best way to get that um, angle and um, direction is to do it at the summer solstice, which in the northern hemisphere this year is on June 21st. Okay, now in the winter, you're supposed to change the angle of your panels. It's a slightly different. And they recommend uh, uh, anywhere from 30 to 45 degrees will still get you some pretty good um, solar. But I like mine to be pretty close to accurate. So you can go to the winter solstice and you can do the same thing that I'm gonna show you again at that time. And then choose the position and angle exactly in between those two. And that's what you want to use. So you don't need a compass. You don't need any of that fancy stuff. You don't have to go online and get angles. All you have to do is get yourself, I use this uh, hammer. Now, I got a piece of paper over here and I used my Wonderground weather app today for them to tell me uh, sunrise and sunset, okay? 
So sunrise is 546, sunset 748 p.m. And this is for today. Now this is not optimum for, for setting the panels. I, I really want to do this next month on the 21st, which will be slightly different times. Okay, so you want to do this exactly in the middle of those two times. That's, you don't set it at noon time because noon time in the summertime and noon time in the wintertime are different positions of the sun in the sky. You want to do it at where your sun is in the sky exactly in the middle of the day. Okay, that's the, the me, that medium point right there. Okay, so they're saying I got 14, uh, 14.02 hours. We'll call it 14. Okay, so what I did was um, 7.48 in military time is 19.48. You just add 12 to the number after for p.m. Okay, so um, that's 1948. So I got that up here, 1948, and I got 546 as the sunrise time. So I subtracted those two, and I got the same 1402 that they said is the length of time. Now I'm going to divide that in two because I want to get right in the middle, and that's 7.01. So 546 in the morning is when the sun came up. And 7.01 hours later, I'm at exactly midday where the sun is the highest in the sky. And that will be at 1247. Well, that's going to be about uh, 5 to 10 minutes from now. But I'm going to do this anyway because um, we're close enough so that you get the idea of how this works. Okay, now I got this like from the Wonderground weather app. Um, they show you every day how many hours and when sunrise, sunset, and all of that is. There's other apps that do that, but I did it with that one. Okay, so this is how I do it. You need something standing straight up and down. About three feet tall works great. It do really doesn't matter how tall it is. Uh, it's just easier to work with something that's a little shorter like this. All right. So I just use my sledgehammer, and you want it to sit perpendicular to the ground close to where your panels are okay so that's going to give you the exact angle and location you need and how is it doing that well you see that little shadow down there all right what we need get away from me fly <laughs> we don't need a fly what we need is something straight now, i've got this piece of electrical conduit that's straight. You could use a pipe, you could use a stick, you could use a two by four, I don't care what it is. But this is how simple this is. You take the bottom end of it, you put it right at the tip of the shadow. All right, and you lean it towards the shadow, towards your post, until it touches the top of the handle. Okay, that is the exact angle that you want these solar panels to be at. Now let me get over here to the side, or not, not the angle you want them, but just where you want them to point. Okay, so you can see where this thing is pointing, the angle is pointing at. And if you look over there at my panels, they're pointing right at that position, or pretty close to it. Now the reason that they look like they're a little bit more lean this way is because I did those on the summer solstice and I'll have a little bit different shadow here. My shadow will be a lot shorter in, on the solstice at tw and, uh, 21st. It'll be about right there. So that would make my, the point of this thing pointing directly where those panels over there and these panels are. Now these don't point in a proper direction because these are Harbor Freight solar panels. That's 100 watts and 100 watts over there. And I've got those pointing for um, east and west directly. Uh, so um, those are my latent panels. They, uh, they pick up the sun first thing in the morning and, and follow it until the latest part of the day before the sunset. And they give me an extra 100 watts of power for those extra times. Now I can take those and set them up on a rack and set them at the same angle as these 
and I'll get more production out of those than having them east and west. I just did them east and west because I didn't want to build an, uh, a new rack just for those Harbor Freight panels when I was running a test on them. All right, so this angle that I have my panels set at, and you can see the, the rack, the way I made my racks with steel pipes in concrete and support braces on them. Now I've got the holes drilled on those so I could switch them in the winter time and change the angles and, and add that little steeper angle because the sun is lower in the southern sky in the winter than it is in the summer. And I found out that by doing that, I'm really not producing very much more electricity. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So leaving them right here, which is in between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, uh, in the direction they're facing and the angle that they're at, right in between those two, I can leave them here all year round and I get my best production. Oh, look at this, you get a bonus today. Isn't that cool? All right. Cool. All right, so anyway, that's what I wanted to get out to you. Now, um, let's see. Oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to say was the actual best way to get the most um, production out of your panels is using a solar tracker, which starts your, your panels facing east where the sun comes up and then tilts them through the day and follows the sun through the sky so that the sun is always perpendicular to your panels or your panels perpendicular to the sun. And that's gonna give you your best production. Okay, the only problem that you have with that kind of stuff is where I live here in the desert, the high winds that I get all the time would play havoc on the weakened um, connection points of a movable tracker. Okay, so that's why I don't use a tracker here. I would have, uh, every year I would, be, I would be putting my panels back together again. And I think that's what happened to uh, Tony and Leanne's panels. And they are um, thinking about just going with stationary. So this is the best option for stationary. Now, I did take my angle gauge here and I set my angle gauge at the angle that we had. Well, let me get it a little tighter there. Okay, so that's, that's now pointing right down at the point of the, the shadow down there from the top of this post, okay? So let's see what angle my method gave me. It looks like around 20 degrees. So instead of 34 degrees recommended by the, the experts off the internet, 20 degrees works year round for me without having to move my panels anymore. All right, so I hope that helps. Those of you who are gonna be putting solar on and if there's any questions or comments, Leave them down below, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Share, share, share. Not Sunny and share. Share. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.